Last year, I was lucky enough to go to Morocco and I tell you what, I tried a lot of pastilla. Over in Morocco, they traditionally do this with pigeon and really it is delicious, but it is actually quite hard to find pigeon in Australia. So I'm going to show you how to do it with duck. Now, I'm not going to make it the traditional way. I'm actually going to give it a little bit of a Middle Eastern flavour by adding this mix of spice. This is baharat and it has a combination of cumin, coriander, all spice and lots of pepper. It is delicious with duck. Now, I'm going to use this roast duck and all I need to do is reheat it and shred the meat. And you can also use confit of duck for this. The duck legs are best as opposed to duck breast because it's a little bit fattier and it shreds really nicely and stays moist. So I've preheated my oven to about 180 degrees and then they'll go into the oven. They'll get really nice and soft in the center, crispy on the outside, and then I'll allow them to cool before I pick the meat off the bones. Now, while they're cooking, we can get on to the base of the sauce. And I've already given myself a head start on the onions. We need two onions that I'll finely chop. Now we need a good glug of extra virgin olive oil in the base of the pan. And then we'll add onions. Now, it seems like a lot, but this is going to impart a lovely, sweet, caramelised flavour to this. And they cook down quite significantly. I'll also add two cloves of garlic. So we'll just bruise them and then chop them up. And I'll run my knife through it a few times and then that can go in. A good pinch of salt. Now I'll saute this off for about five to six minutes, just on that medium heat so they don't burn. While that's happening, let's get onto the pastry. Now, traditionally, this was done with brick pastry in Morocco, but phyllo pastry works a treat. Take it out of the fridge a good couple of hours before you use it, and then give yourself lots of space on the bench. Just makes it so much easier when you're assembling the pie. So we'll just fold that out. And when working with phyllo pastry, get your first sheet, we'll place it on the other side, and then with a damp tea towel, make sure it's damp, we'll cover the rest. This will make sure that it stays moist as we're brushing it with the oil. You could use butter for this, but I'm changing it up. I like the flavour of the olive oil for this. And I'm just placing it into a bowl to make it easier to brush. Now, instead of using a small pastry brush, use one of these. This is a serious paintbrush, but I tell you what, it just makes it so much easier to spread the oil on evenly and it takes half the time because it's so wide. And I'm just being really delicate at the top of it so I don't break that phyllo pastry. Now I'm using a 20 centimetre spring form tin, just like this one. And again, I'm just going to brush the base with some olive oil and the collar. And now we'll grab our first layer of phyllo pastry. You don't have to be so delicate with it and you can allow the excess pastry just to come over the sides because we're going to fold it in at the end. Now I'm going to repeat this process at least four or five times so we've got a nice even base and we've got a lot of excess pastry that comes up and over the sides. Then I'll finish off the sauce. Okay, so the pastry is done. Let's get back to these onions. They've softened nicely, just a little bit of colour. Now it's time to add some dried fruit. Now I'm using a combination of dried apricots that I've just finely chopped and some dried figs. You can use whatever you like. Prunes work really nicely with the duck too and also dates are great. So now we just want to warm through the dried fruit and these will rehydrate when I start to add some stock. And look at those beautiful colours, yum -o. Now we'll add some fennel seeds and then our Middle Eastern spice mix, a good handful of that in there and we want it to toast off. So another mix. Now once you start to smell the spice starting to toast in the pan, you know it's time for the next process, which is to add our stock. So just some good old classic chicken stock or duck stock if you like. Now this is going to bubble away for about five to six minutes or until the fruit starts to plump up. Then I'll add a little bit of lemon and I love the addition of little peas. So these are just frozen peas. Once that's done, we can turn off the sauce. It's pretty much ready to go. And that means the duck is ready and I'll shred the meat, pop it in the sauce. The 
duck has cooled down and you can see I've just been shredding it. I've removed some of the fat, but the top that's really crispy I've included because to be honest, that's the most delicious part. And you want it to be roughly around the same size. Now our sauce has cooled down, it's thickened up nicely. You can see the peas are still vibrant green, which is perfect. And then we'll add our lovely duck legs. Oh. I love duck and I love it in a pastilla like this. You'll notice the sauce is not too wet. If it's too runny, then we'll get a soggy base on our pastilla, so we don't want that. Now we'll add the crunch to this, which is a nice generous handful of pine nuts that I've toasted and a little bit of lemon zest. Just the zest of about half a lemon, that'll be plenty. Another thing that would go really nicely with this pastilla is a hint of orange zest. Now we'll just fold that through. I've also left the oven on, it's still on at 180 degrees. And now we'll place our room temperature mixture into our filo casing, spreading it out, pressing down so it's nice and compact. You can see it fills up perfectly. Great, now we'll use the back of our spatula to even it out. And now we need to get the excess filo pastry and almost cover it just like a little blanket. And it is breaking up a little bit, but that's how I want it because this is going to form a super crunchy topping. So you don't have to be so delicate with it. It'll almost look like a beautiful golden flower on the top once it's baked. So the only thing that you do need to make sure is that it is folded in so all of that mixture is covered in that phyllo pastry. And then what I like to do is just add a little bit of extra olive oil over the top and a very small amount of our spice mix. And now that goes into the oven, about 15 to 20 minutes. The inside is cooked, so we just want that pastry to go golden. Pretty impressed with the way this pastilla looks. And I've removed it from the oven and allowed it to cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes. You can serve this hot or you can serve it at room temperature. It's delicious either way. The best thing about this is that crunchy pastry. So now I'll remove the collar from the springform tin. And that comes off nice and easily because we had that oil around the sides. And then carefully lift the base, it's still a little bit hot. And then I'll remove this disc with a palette knife. Just take it off the base. Ho -ho. And there you have it. <laughs> it looks so good on that round board. I'd present that at the table with a little extra pine nuts over the top. And you could serve this with a delicious parsley salad with some pickled onions through it, a little bit of tomato. Let's cut into this so you can see how yummy that mixture looks. Is there anything better than the sound of crunchy pastry? Love it. Turn that around. Have a look at that. It's moist in the centre without being too wet. It's perfect. Traditionally, it has a little bit of icing sugar over the top and some cinnamon, and it's done with pigeon, but let's face it, it's a little bit hard to get pigeon. Try it with duck, you'll love it.